Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are, welcome to my channel. As you may know, it is cuffing season, and the only thing I'm gonna be cuffing is some cute fall decor today. I just got ready, I am so hungry, so I'm gonna go downstairs and make a snack, and then we will get dressed. It's October, and I only have like a very small little decor set up just on my island in my kitchen, and I wanted to go and buy some cute little things at Home Goods. So I figured I would take you guys along with me and do just like a little shopping for fall decor on a budget because taxes ruined my bank account. Your girl's on a budget. I figured I would vlog it and we can find something cute. We're gonna go take some cute little fall outfit pics with Danielle first because the sun sets so early here now. So I just posted on YouTube my Cabo vlog and then now I'm starting to film another vlog. I'm posting twice a week now. It's very uh, time consuming and hectic and I'm finding Fighting the light because the sun goes down at 6 p.m. right now and then like literally within the next few weeks It'll be setting by 5 p.m. It'll be pitch black So we're gonna take photos first while the sun is still up and then we'll head over to home goods They have a home goods slash TJ Maxx all-in-one which is like ah! my dream I love home goods and I love TJ Maxx I don't want to get like tons of stuff I just want little things here and there just to kind of tie it all together and make it just like a chic simple fall vibe in my apartment make it nice and cozy just with some little knickknacks here and there so I'm gonna probably go make like a frozen waffle cuz I didn't go grocery shopping that's all I have and then we'll get dressed they have a very cute fall outfit so I'm excited to show you guys also I've been doing this little lip combo it's very like fall vibes I just posted it on TikTok. I've been using this brown liner this one's from KKW Beauty the quality of it is horrible it's actually horrible but I like how creamy it is but I'm gonna go I need to go find some new brown lip liners but anyway brown lip liner and then I just kind of smudge it in and then I just put on like a gloss over it this one's from Victoria's Secret yeah that's my new little fall lip combo and I'm loving it let's go eat a frozen waffle so I decided to make a scrambled egg burrito because I'm like shaking I'm so hungry scrambled eggs and a nice little toasted tortilla I'm gonna heat it up on the stove because I love when tortillas are like warm and like almost kind of burnt I don't know I'm weird like that get some protein in me and then I can have some energy to go shopping all right a nice burnt tortilla Tortilla, just how I like it. And then we're just gonna scoop on some scrambled eggs. Just added some salt and pepper. I wish I could be putting some shredded cheese in here. That would taste so good, but your girl can't handle cheese apparently. This will fill me up for a while. Oh, it's so hot. Yum. But this is literally the only thing I have right now for fall. Cute little candle. These are from Target. I need some more. So I'm gonna eat this, get some brain power, and then we'll get dressed. See, it's already getting so dark. Okay, so I just got dressed. I'll show you guys my full look in a second, but right now I'm putting on some accessories. I got these from Bobble Bar. So I wanted to show you how I'm gonna accessorize this look. I have these little twisty hoops. I think they are so cute and so chic for fall. These could actually go like year round. They're so trendy. I love bracelets and I love these little bangles and I wanted to kind of add a little bit of texture. So I added this one. This one's kind of like a twisty one and then this one they're just so chic together so I'm gonna put these on here especially like with this nail color too it's like so cute so so far so good I got two necklaces but like my biggest issue when I wear like multiple necklaces is they're constantly like twisting and it's so irritating for me so I got this from Bobble Bar I was so excited to find this so it's this little piece and basically you can connect three different necklaces on here. It goes to the back. I'll show you guys how I do it, but basically it prevents them from twisting, which is the most genius invention. I'm gonna be linking all of my jewelry down below, so feel free, but like this is literally like, it's gonna save my life. This is a game changer, are you kidding? So first I got this little piece, nice little dainty piece. I'm gonna add this to the bottom here like that i'm gonna wait because i'm gonna put them all on at once but this will go on the bottom and then i got this piece i think this is so stunning it's like a little pendant but it's like an evil eye you can see like the detail on it is so pretty and then if you turn it around a pastel pink and it's just so pretty this piece is so cute so for today for this outfit i'm gonna use the gold side i just thought it'd be really pretty to layer with this piece like that that's so freaking cute I 
I love it. And put this on and then these won't be as twisty as they would if I did not have this little piece. They would be twisting and irritating me. The little piece is on. And my necklaces are all perfectly layered without twisting. I find it so fun shopping for different necklaces and finding just like different pieces to layer. I think that's so fun. It takes me so long because I can't ever decide but I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I love these bangles and the earrings. I just think this is so cute. It ties it all together. I'm gonna link all these pieces down below. Bobo Bar has so many cute pieces. I've literally shopped there for years and years and years. I love them. Let me show you guys the full fit and then we gotta bounce. I'm always running so late and I don't know why. It's like I can start so early and then all of a sudden I'm like where did the time go? It's time to leave 20 minutes ago. I love these glasses too. They're from Indy. It says talk to me nice or not at all which is literally fact. I'm gonna put these on my head. This is the full look. I have so many boxes so ignore that but this top underneath is supposed to be like a button down dress. It comes with like a little corset. It's from the crypt and then this big sweater vest is from beginning boutique and then the little cowgirl boots are from Princess Polly. I might have some codes for these, so I'll pop them up on the screen just to get you guys a nice little discount. I'm gonna tie it off with this bag. I got it from Zara, but I took the uh, chain off on the side because I didn't like it. But yeah, this is the full fit, so I'm gonna take Max out really quick and then go take some cute photos and then go to Home Goods and decorate this bitch. Also, I did not have coffee today for whatever reason. My brain just like forgot. And because this video is on a budget, I was gonna go to Starbucks and get a pumpkin spice latte but instead I'm gonna make my own so I have a Starbucks cup here and I made some coffee so we're gonna pour that in I love the smell of coffee my whole life like even when I was a kid I loved the smell of it hated the taste but now I love the taste. And because I am now dairy free, I got this. I just got this from the grocery store. It is an almond creamer, but it's pumpkin spice. My frother broke, so we're just doing straight creamer. Usually I don't really like almond milk. I like coconut milk. It's way sweeter, but I could not find it for the life of me, which made me very upset. This will have to do, but yeah. My own pumpkin spice latte, and that cost me how much? This plus the coffee is like two drinks at Starbucks, but I can make a million with it so budgeting so good i love it sometimes home cooked things just taste better is this better than a pumpkin spice latte from starbucks no but it's still really good <laughs> okay guys this is where i'm gonna shoot it we literally look like fucking blair and serena from gossip girl <laughs> yeah let's just do it it's a vibe We just shot my photos, now we're gonna go take Danielle's photos. So Danielle's gonna shoot at this cute little donut shop, it's so cute. Okay, we just finished our photos, and now it's time to go to Home Goods. This is the fastest we've ever shot in our entire, <laughs> entire life. Usually we take so long, we have to set timers for each other. So seven we get minutes of photos. seven minutes, and we literally set the timer on our phone. But we're gonna go to Home Goods and find some cute the poor. Setting my budget. Yeah, yeah, not for me. I don't. I don't decorate. <laughs> we have Someday. the Grinch right over here. <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna be here on Halloween. That's true. And I have a pumpkin already. She does have a pumpkin. I'm very proud. And I'm in a pumpkin patch. And you went to the pumpkin patch. That's true. true. I'm setting a budget of a hundred dollars. I don't want to go over a hundred. Just a few little simple. You got one item. No, it won't be that expensive. <laughs> hopefully they have some good stuff. It's already October 12th, so hopefully like the good stuff isn't already taken, but we'll see. We'll check it out. The holy grail, baby. We've made it. <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> I told you guys it's too late in October and now everything I'm just gonna get a nutcracker and call it a day. Okay, we have some little knickknacks here. Nothing's like speaking to me though. Okay, so I feel like this could be cute if I buy like fresh flowers. Some sunflowers could be cute in here and I can use this all throughout November too until Thanksgiving. $9.99. This thing is so weird. It's like to roll out dough. <laughs> I don't make dough, but otherwise this is interesting. Go ahead and put that back. I really like this color. So that was a big fat bust. I got two things and then now we're gonna go down the street to Target because Target always has everything. So that's where we're gonna go. Danielle got a dog toy. <laughs> 
cute. It's like a mummy octopus. The sky is spooky. It's spooky season, baby. But apparently not at Home Goods. Home Goods is ready for Santa. All right, guys. My hopes are high. So this is what I'm thinking. This pumpkin, which is ten dollars, and these little candlestick thingies, and then we'll find some candles to put in there. But that's kind of cute. By like the TV. Those masks were $13. So we just left Target. I found a few things. Right now, a lot of Christmas stuff is coming out, which is actually wild to me. It's October. Like, all of the Halloween stuff is pretty much gone. So I just got a few little things, and I did not realize how low of a budget $100 is. Um, My face is red right now. But Danielle and I are, like, starving, so we're going to go get something to eat really quick, and then we're going to stop by Michael's just for one quick little thing, and then I think I'm going to be done. Let's go get something to eat. We're feeling tacos. Yummy. I got a tri-tip one and then a cauliflower one and then some rice and beans. Door number three. Let's go. I don't know why, but I thought that said panty for a second. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is ridiculous. It is October. Good lord. Yeah, maybe we're supposed to shop for Christmas now. Those are really like cute. Those. And the pink one, that's very cute. These are all very cute. So we brought in the little candlestick holders that we got from Target and we Wait, are we get here candy? getting the candlestick. But now we think they look like witch hats. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. I don't know. It's kind of looking weird. These are $1.99 each. I'm gonna get two. So these are what we got from Target. And I like these ones a lot better. So I'm gonna get these ones and then we're we'll turn those. That looks way more like Halloween vibes. It looks Halloween vibes. Yeah. That does look like a sake shot. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> okay, I'm home and I have the receipts here. So I'm going to add everything up and see how much we spent. Also, I have not touched these necklaces once. They have not twisted. It's incredible. <laughs> Max is like going ham with his freaking toys. Can I say hi, babe? <laughs> I know. I just took him out on like a, a decent little walk, huh? <laughs> okay, so from Home Goods we have 1937, Target 75.86, Michaels, which was 18.50. But I'm gonna return those two candlesticks from Target. The small one was ten dollars, and then the taller one was fifteen dollars. So. This total minus 25, which is $88.73. So we stayed within the budget, which gives me $12 to buy some fresh flowers. There's multiple ways you can use this, but I'm gonna use it for a little flower vase. I just think this is so cute. It has little pumpkins on it, and this was $9.99. I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get some flowers to put in here. I was so shocked with um, Home Goods because they literally only had their Christmas stuff out and had very minimal fall decor. Cork. Apparently I was wrong. I thought like <laughs> You can hear Max. I thought the fall decor would last like a little bit into November because like Thanksgiving But then I forgot like people literally will decorate for Christmas before Thanksgiving So I learned my lesson. So the only things I got from home goods is this and then I got a black pumpkin I think this is a candle, but I don't want to use it as a candle, so I love the way this looks. So I'm going to cut off this piece. Just have it be like a black candle. I think this is so chic. This was $9.99 and this was $7.99. Home goods, you could have done better, but it's okay. I guess I was late to the game. I should have come in like July. <laughs> Target, um, I was starving and I made a bad decision, so I bought Cheetos. Um, and then we ended up getting tacos, so I have a snack for tomorrow or later tonight when I watch the new Kardashians. <laughs> so my original plan was to use these little candlesticks, but then once Danielle said they looked like sake cups, I couldn't unsee it. So I'm going to return these and replace them with these ones. These are much more Halloween vibe anyways. I like these because I could use them year round, but I decided I don't like them anymore. <laughs> I like these better and they were cheaper. And then I got the little candlesticks from Michaels. So I think that's very cute. It's very Halloween-y. This with like the black pumpkin. That could be a vibe, we'll see. So from Target, let's see. Medium orange ceramic pumpkin for $10. I just thought this was cute. I was gonna match it with these, but you know, we have a different plan. I got this doormat, super good quality. I'm gonna put it out in front of my door. I do already have some fall decorations out from last year. I repurposed them and I have them on my front porch. So that will go 
perfectly. I'll show you guys that. And then I did get two more things. One, Halloween candy, because I have a lot of kids that live in my building, and last year it was a Grinch, and I didn't have any candy, and I felt so bad. I didn't even like realize, like, oh, Carissa, you're an adult, and you're not going trick-or-treating, and you're home on Halloween. You need to have candy to pass out to the kids that are knocking on your door, and you don't have anything. So even if I'm not here, I'm gonna just put this out in a bowl. Um, but I think I'll probably be here to pass out candy. I'm so old, I don't like that. I love trick-or-treating. I should just put on a mask and go out there. And then, you know, I had to get something for my son, so I got him a little pumpkin spice latte toy. Oh my God, that's cute. The name on the cup is Karen, like Karen, but Scarin. That's so funny. Oh, he's getting up. He already knows I got him something. I always have to get him something. A pumpkin spooks latte, cold boo coffee for Scarin. A Scarin? Oh! Did mommy get you a coffee? There you go, Scarin. <laughs> so here's all the little knickknacks I got. I am so tired, and it's also dark out, it's pitch black, so I'm going to go to bed and wake up tomorrow and then we will kind of place these when the sun's out and it's just better lighting and then we can see like where everything goes. All right, it's the next day and I have a dinner in like a few hours, so I'm gonna be doing a little face mask before I show you guys all the little decorations. This one is from Philosophy. This is the purity one. The Pore Extractor Clay Mask. I've used this one a few times and it's actually really, really good. I like putting it just wherever I have like bigger pores. Literally just like that. <laughs> I got a little bit on my eyebrows. All right, and this is what it is. Also, I've been doing my own nails. This color is like so cute for a fall. It's a miracle gel from Sally Hansen and it's their like friends collection. I just love this color. 880 and it's called Oh My Coffee. I have 10 minutes before I have to take this mask off and hop in the shower, so I will spend those 10 minutes showing you guys where I placed everything. Here is the little setup I've already had, but this is the negative part. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this was a good idea to buy. I know I needed it, but it's too early because I have no self-control. So I've already opened M&Ms and I'm terrified that I'm literally going to eat the entire bowl of candy before Halloween even <laughs> gets here and I'll have to go buy more. So I don't know, that was like my genius idea. Like, oh, I'm gonna be prepared. Wait a minute, I have no self-control when it comes to a big bowl of candy in my kitchen. Of course I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Also, I realized that $100 does not buy you much these days. Um, I put out my decorations. Yes, I wanted everything to be very simple and subtle, not like super cluttered, because I feel like decorating in general for holidays is like very easy to become like cluttered. I wanted to avoid, but I literally have like four little things. <laughs> and it added up so fast. I put these little candlesticks here with the black pumpkin and I cut off the little tip so it's not really a candle anymore. I like this, it's very subtle, very simple. And then I have this. <laughs> So I put this little ceramic pumpkin from Target on my little Louis Vuitton book. I think the colors just kind of go well. And then I put the vase here. Do you like the pumpkin, baby? And you were playing with your pumpkin spice latte. Here you go, babe. I'm gonna get some sunflowers, I think, for this one. Um, <laughs> you think sunflowers, babe? I have a whole pile of clothes right there for a video I'm gonna film. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm gonna grab my keys so I don't get locked out. I have some little lights in here, and these I got last year from Home Goods. They're just little like tin things, like jack-o'-lanterns. And then after Halloween, I usually turn them around so they can still be up for fall. But I got these cute little lights to light it up, and then some dried wheat or something, a little happy fall sign, and then I got the little rug to put on top of that. So I think this is very cute. But like that's literally it. I thought I got way more for some reason and I literally had $12 left of the budget and I'm gonna put that towards flowers. I think the, the nice pretty sunflowers will kind of tie it together and just add a little pop of color. My favorite thing is definitely the candy. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. My face is starting to really harden. For being on a budget, just getting a few little things to just kind of 
make it feel homey and festive. I'm happy with it, I don't mind. Yes, I wish I could have gotten a little bit more, but like literally nowadays it's very hard to find things for like a good price. Everything's so expensive nowadays, so I'm fine with it. But I am posting every Wednesday and Saturday now, so this will be posted on a Saturday, so come back on Wednesday for the next video. I have a lot of little fun holiday things planned, so stay tuned. I am gonna go ahead and finish my bag of M&Ms, and hopefully I will have a little bit of self-control with that bowl of candy. We'll see. But I need to go take this face mask off, hop in the shower, and get ready for dinner. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And come back on Wednesday for another video.